let's play this one. This is an interesting one, right? So this, as we go on to then going on to playing the flipping majiggy thing, the um, the stuff about obviously Brendan being on Tiger Belly. But this clip I thought was really interesting. Someone uploaded this again on a final kid subreddit, it, and it's concerning Mike Redbar. And it says, Mike Redbar, um, I know everyone hates Mike Redbar, but he predicted this, and he's right about it. So this is Redbar making a comment about Bobby Lee from maybe a couple of years ago, right? And he's very on point about how Bobby Lee is perceived within the comedy scene, because I feel like, do you remember when that whole Burt Kreischer and Ari Shafir drug dosing thing went down? Do you guys remember that? There was a period where I think I think it was a podcast or something that Bert Kreischer was doing. He invited Ari Shafir on. And then Ari Shafir is known to be a bit of a crazy dude who loves to do drugs and party and just, you know, have loves to, have, you know, do pranks on his friends and stuff. And he decided it was a good idea to dose uh, Bert with some MDMA behind his back, though. But the reason why it was really mad was because... Um, they were doing the podcast, I guess, in Burst, like, garden room or patio or something, or he's, like, he's kind of out house. So he was basically at home with his family and, you know, and Ari Shafir here dosing him with flipping MDMA. So obviously not a good look. And he got really upset and really wild and really upset about it. And obviously people in the comedy scene were also commenting, but, and the general comments or the general thoughts about it was obviously that Ari Shafir was really fucked up for doing it. But a lot of people were suggesting that Ari only did it because of, because it was Burt. And if it was anybody else, if it was anybody else, um, no one else would have the guts to do it to. Like, and I think they use example Joe Rogan and other people in comedy, right, who wouldn't have taken the dosing of MDMA from Ari in such a jovial way or would have made it more of a, you know, violent situation, let's say that. So there's clearly people in that whole LA comedy scene that certain people feel they can walk over, certain people feel that they can bully, some people feel like they can take the piss out of, they can intimidate. And unfortunately for Bobby Lee, he seems to be one of those people within that community. Like they seem to view him in a certain way. Hence why he's probably been subjected to what he's been subjected to with um, Brendan and, and Brian Callen. But anyway, this is a clip of Red Bar talking about it quickly and then we'll move on. Those are condescending fucks. Okay, now here's Bobby Lee, and I want to explain something. All the comedians, all the insecure comedians in L.A., they think they need to treat Bobby Lee like shit in order to be one of the gang. You know who they used to do this to before they treated Bobby Lee like this? Brody Stevens. You got it. The cool thing to do to show that you were a comfortable one of them comedians. You know, because Andrew Santino's not the first guy to pick on Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee has been picked on by comedians his whole life. And what newer comedians like Santino are doing now is they start picking on him too to show that, oh, I'm like every other comedian. We all pick on Bobby Lee. We're this comfortable with each other. It's a fool's game. If I ever met Bobby Lee, I'd be like, dude, People really, they treat you the wrong way. I'm not going to do that. And let's be honest, the man was right. He was 100% right. I 100% right. Um, it's just, you know, it's just sad, obviously, because it's happened to Bobby Lee. And he, it, for this one occasion, he had nothing to say. I mean, so he had nothing to do with this. You know, maybe he should have reacted in a more manly way and stood up for his woman and did something, whatever. But let's be real, in it, Bobby Lee ain't doing nothing to Brendan, and he's not doing nothing to Brian Callen. So, you know, what else could he do but try to embarrass him with his words? And I feel like he's done that so far, anyway. But yeah, I thought that was a very astute observation from Red Bar, who a lot of people clearly don't like for some, you know, for some justifiable reasons. But he was not off on that assessment at all. And it feels like Bobby Lee's the next punching bag. But who knows, maybe because of all this backlash, people are going to now lay off Bobby Lee a little bit and give him some grace. Because when I do, I don't listen to Tiger Belly that often anymore. But when I did listen to it back in the day, I do remember Bobby always complaining about the comedy store. He'd always say how it was, he'd kind of say in a roundabout way that it was a boys club, that he felt uncomfortable, which might explain why he's not on bid on Joe Rogan, isn't it? Like, well, that sort of stuff, he feels uncomfortable around those guys. They, they create a certain sort of vibe, blah, 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 blah. I remember him saying that sort of stuff. So... I'm not surprised um, it's ended up the way it ended up for him, considering all those things.